The question says, what is the IU pack name of the complex? This is the complex given here. Okay, to name the complex, we use the following orders. First of all, you have to write that ligands. Plus, then we have central metal atom. And plus, then we have oxidation number in Roman numbers. Okay, oxidation number. This is the order we follow. Okay. Before writing the name, always identify if the central metal atom is present in the cationic complex or anionic complex. For example, let's say we have this is nickel is there, this is ionic 3, neutral ligand we have, whole 6, and this is what we have, Cl2 is there. Okay. So you can see the species which are present inside the coordination bracket, they cannot be uh, separated. You can break it from here. You can break it from here. This is the counter ion is there. Okay. The first one is always positive. Second one is always negative. So you can see the central metal atom is present in the cationic complex. Okay. When we name this complex, we use the common name of the central metal atom as given in the periodic table. But in case, remember, if the central metal atom is present in the anionic complex, then we use the special name. Okay. Now, next. Next step. From here, it is very clear. Central metal atom is present in the cationic complex. Next, uh, we have to calculate the oxidation number of the central metal atom because we need oxidation number. Let's calculate nickel. We have nickel is there. Plus, this is a neutral ligand, so it does not carry any charge. So, 6 multiplied by 0 and plus, there are two chloride ions and each chloride ion carries minus 1 charge. Minus 1. This is a neutral complex is equal to 0. Nickel minus 2 is equal to 0, then nickel is present in plus 2 oxidation numbers. Okay, start naming. First of pass 2, a cationic complex followed by the counter ion. This is not the complex, this is the counter ion which undergoes dissociation. Okay. First we have ligands. You can see only one type of ligands are given there, but more than one ligands are there. How many ligands are there? Six. For this we can use prefix, that is what hexa. We have hexa. And then again, what amine for ammonia we write amine. Keep in mind there should be double M amine. Okay, double M. You cannot write only, only single M, otherwise it will be incorrect. Okay. Ligands written. Then we have central metal atom. We use the common name nickel. We have nickel because it is present in the cationic complex. Nickel. Then after that we have to write oxidation number already calculated. This is what we have oxidation number. Now we have the interesting part. We have counter ion in the last. The naming of this complex is done. We have the counter ion. I should write chloride or dichloride. Okay. So whatever the number of counter ion are given there, we do not consider those numbers. Only you have to write the name. I will write only chloride. Okay. I will write only chloride. I will not write dichloride. In that case, it will be incorrect. Now it is correct. Why? Because because. This 2 is coming by balancing the charge, okay? Because in this case, it is having plus 2 charge, it is having minus. So if you crisscross, so then we are getting 2. For example, let's say if I mention this is what MgCl2 is there, MgCl2. In this case, I do not say magnesium dichloride. Because this 2 is coming by balancing the charge. Mg you are plus 2, Cl you are minus 1. Then if you balance the charge, then we get Cl2. So in case of naming, the counter ion, we do not focus on the number, ignore the numbers, only take the name. We should not mention even if it is 3, 5, 10, whatever is there, we do not consider the prefix, we write only the name that is chloride. Okay, dichloride will be incorrect. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.